Welcome to Mass Speed Market. Today we're gonna solve a really nice equation from Australian Mass Olympiad. So let's talk about this. If I have x plus 1 to the power of 4 plus x plus 2 to the power of 4, that's equal 1. And we know that x is a real number. We want to find x. So the first thing that I want to do is write, for example, x plus 1 to the power of 4. How can you write it? I can write it as x plus 1 squared squared. Okay. And of course, you know that. Let me write it for you. If, for example, you have a plus b squared, that's equal a squared plus uh, b squared plus 2 times a times b. So it means I have x squared plus 2x plus 1 square and if i calculate this um i will have x to the power of 4 plus 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus uh, 4x plus 1 and it means i have the same idea for x plus 2 to the power of 4 I can write it as x plus 2 squared and again squared. So you will have uh, x squared plus 4x plus 4 squared, right? And if you calculate this, uh, you will have x to the power of 4 plus uh, 8x cubed, yes, plus. Uh, 24x squared plus uh, 32x, I think, and the last one is uh, 16, right? Uh, so let's continue. Um, now we add these two answers together, and that's just equal positive one. If I add this one to the second one. I will have 2x to the power of 4 plus uh, 12x cubed plus uh, 28, right? I think... Oh, I'm sorry, that's... Uh... I'm so sorry... That's 4x cubed, and this is the 6x squared, plus 4x plus 1, right? Yeah, that's it. I write it here, and I see, and yeah, that's 6x squared. I'm sorry for that. So if you add these two polynomials together, we will get 2x, uh, 2x to the power of 4 plus 12x cubed plus uh, 30x squared uh, plus 36x plus... 16 plus 1 that's equal positive 1 so i can cancel positive 1 and positive 1 here and if i multiply this uh sorry if i division i use a division uh division by 2 i will have x4 plus 6x cubed plus 15x squared plus 18x plus uh, 8 yeah plus 8 that's equal 0 and here uh, I want to write this answer as uh, you look at 15x squared I want to write it as 10x squared plus 5x squared so what will happen I will have x to the power of 4 plus 6x squared plus 5x squared plus 10x squared plus 18x plus 8 that's equal 0 so now if we look at let me write it for you if we look at this two polynomial the first one if i factor x squared what will happen I will have x squared plus uh, 6x plus 5, right? And the second one, if I factor 2, 
I will have 5x squared plus 9x, right? Uh, no, let me write, don't factor this. Yeah. Because I have the, another idea. Ten, I did the same. 10x squared plus 18x plus 8, that's equal 0. So if we look at this one, x squared plus 6x plus 5, and of course you know that that's equal, um, we can write it as x plus 5 times x plus 1. That's really nice, isn't it? And instead of this one, I told you I don't want to uh, factor 2 because of this. I can write it as x plus 1 times 10x plus 8. That's really nice. So if I look at this, I can factor x plus 1, right? So if I factor x plus 1 here, I will have x cubed plus 5x squared plus 10x plus 8 x equals 0 so that's really nice and I want to work on the second one I mean this one how can I write it if we look at this we have x cubed plus 10 no 5 5x five squared plus 10x plus uh, 8 that's equal zero so how can you write this um if we look at this and think about some uh ideas i think how can we write this for the second one um instead of 10x if we use six it, yeah yeah six x plus four x what will happen let me write it i'm not sure but let me write we have x cubed plus five x squared plus six x i think that's good the first one and the second one four x plus eight yeah yeah that's really nice that's really nice look at this if we look at this you can factor four and you will have four times x plus two and the second uh, the first one if fact if you factor x you can write it as x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus this one so again look at this one how can you write this i can write it as x plus 2 times x plus 3 that's really beautiful isn't it so let's add them together we will have i had x plus 1 the first one the second one that's equal x times x plus 2 times x plus 3 plus 4 times x plus 2 right that's equal 0 if you look at this you can factor x plus 2 right so i will have x plus 1 times uh i can factor x plus 2 and i will have x squared plus 3x plus 4 and that's equal to if you calculate that's really nice so it means that we have three situation the first one is if x plus 1 equals 0 it means x will be equal negative 1 and this is our first answer the second one x plus 2 might be equal zero so it means x is equal negative two and this is the second answer what what about the third one if x squared plus 3x plus 4 equals zero it doesn't have any real roots why because in one of my videos i told you for example if you have ax squared plus bx plus c that's equal zero i proved that x will be equal minus b positive and negative square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a so if we look at our 
equation we have a equals 1 b equals 3 and c equals 4 and if you calculate b squared minus 4 a c that's the negative answer so it means that x uh, has to be a complex number but i told you x is a real number so it can be right and it means we have two answers the first one x is equal to negative one and the second one x is equal to negative two if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to like the video and thanks for watching